Hello friends, today we are going to read about transport of water and minerals that is called ascent of sap and transpiration. We will be covering these two topics today. So to start with, as you can see a diagram in front of you, it is of a plant and I have written some points regarding the transport of minerals and water. As you can see, and we have discussed it before as well the root hairs are there in the root which absorb the water and minerals through the method of active transport and it is absorbing water also through the process of osmosis then what is happening in the plant is already the plant root is having mineral still it will absorb more mineral because of active transport so there will be a difference in concentration of water and minerals in the roots. This will help to draw in more water and minerals towards the stem. There will be a pressure developed in the roots which we are calling as root pressure. And then it will go up. As the water will move through the xylem, then it will go to the leaves in different parts. This will also happen due to transpiration, which causes the transpiration pull. The water and minerals which are absorbed by the roots are conducted up through xylem. And it will reach all the parts, the stems, leaves, flowers. And this upward movement of water and minerals from the roots to the aerial parts of the plant against the gravitational force is called ascent of sap from downwards to upward, ascent of sap. Now what is cell sap? It is nothing but a fluid containing the mineral salts and waters. Generally it is found in the vacuole of a cell. Next I am going to tell you about transpiration. As you know that the plant is absorbing water from the root and taking up to all the parts of the plant, but it does not need all that water for itself. So most of the water which is not required or is excess, that will be removed by the plant. And that loss of water in the form of water vapor through the stomata of the leaves and other aerial parts is called transpiration. So transpiration can happen from the stomata. You might be knowing that stomata is found in the lower surface of the leaves, lenticels and cuticle. Lenticels are also like stomata but they remain open all the time and is found in the woody stems. And cuticle is a waxy layer generally on leaves like banyan and all you can see a thick layer of waxy cuticle. Now transpiration causes a pull, a suction pressure which is pulling the water from the xylem of the roots to the stem and then to the leaves. This process is called the transpiration pull. Now to talk about transpiration pull and the relationship of absorption of water as I had shown you in the previous diagram, absorption has a direct relationship with transpiration because when the water will be absorbed by the root it is going to go up because of all this process that we discussed and then the transpiration is also helping because it is causing the transpiration pull and the water is reaching all the different parts of the plant. So that is why there is a direct relationship between absorption and transpiration pull. Now coming back, we should also know what are the factors in which the rate of transpiration depends. As you can see, I have mentioned sunlight. Obviously because the transpiration will happen because of photosynthesis, the plants are opening up the stomata, water will be exchanged, gases will be exchanged, water will be coming out. So also we say that transpiration is a necessary evil. So because of sunlight, more the sunlight, more will be the rate of transpiration because the stomata will be open. Then we go to wind. If you see there is more wind, then the transpiration rate is also high because whatever water is coming out by transpiration in the form of water vapor that will be carried away by the wind 
so there will be more space for the more water vapor to come out then temperature when we talk about temperature higher temperature generally causes more transpiration but there is an optimum limit of temperature as well and humidity if like during rainy season we say that humidity is more if air is having more humidity or more water vapor in it then the transpiration will become slow or less so here direct relationship with sunlight with temperature but indirect with humidity next topic that we need to know is importance of transpiration why is transpiration important first point is it helps in the ascent of sap as we discussed before it is carrying the food and minerals water to the different parts of the plant it helps in the conduction of water and minerals to different parts of the plants secondly it causes a cooling effect because it is very much similar to evaporation and you know that evaporation causes cooling so does transpiration so that is why when you stand under a tree during a hot sunny day because of transpiration by the plant we feel cooler around its surrounding walls then transpiration helps in the removal of excess water from the plant as we discussed in the definition itself and the suction pressure which is created because of transpiration that we call is transpiration pull helps each and every part of the plant to receive the food and water so with this we come to the end of today's session thank you for watching